It's Thursday the 30th of September 2021 and welcome to another Partner Podcast. My name is Simon Birchall and uh, with me today I'm joined by Matt Wilkinson. Hello. And uh, somewhere in the building, Mike Coop. Hi everyone. How's it going? Has it been a busy week? Yeah, it's been busy. Uh, getting back to normal. Yeah, there's been a lot more like uh, new leads and returning customers booking in projects that got cancelled, that sort of stuff. Good stuff. All right. This quick podcast is about the recent Paxton Net2 integration. Okay. Um, who who wants to explain this? What what's um who's best at this? Is Mike or is it Matt? We, I think Matt's 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 keen to go for this. One. To go for it. All right, so, so what I'll say to start with, we've actually got a, 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 a sort of schematic of the of the integration on timeware.co.uk, haven't we? Is that right? Yeah. The integration's heading. Okay. Um, so on that, over to you. What 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 version does Paxton? What version does Paxton have to be? What what version of six point zero two? So you wrote me out with that one. Like. <laughs> Without even moving your lips. And well done. Six point zero two. All right. So if the customer's not on six point zero two, what happens? What do we do? Uh, they'll need upgrading. So part of the Paxton package, I think it's just an upgrade for free for the ones okay. we've done anyway so far, so they can just upgrade it. Right, so just to lay the ground rules out, this works with the current version of Timeware. Yeah, uh, 22, yeah. 22, right? Yeah. And it also needs Paxton 6.0.2. Yep, I'll grade it. Yep. yep. Right, Matt, over to you. What What are the main areas of the integration, so the, please? We can do so. It's a, it's a two-way sync, really. So you can have the users from Paxton going into Timeware, the Timeware users going into Paxton. Yep. And then we have access levels. So that's, again, a two-way sync. So it's access levels from Paxton coming into Timeware as terminal policies. Yes. And then terminal policies that can be set up in Timeware can then go across into Paxton as well. Yeah. And then, so doors, so what we class as terminals in Timeware, we can bring all the doors across from, from Paxton into Timeware. Okay. But that's that's only a one way, so we can't go back the other way. You wouldn't need to do that, though, would no, you? No, it's, there's no need for it, yeah. So we'd bring all the doors in, and then you can obviously mark which ones you want data to come, come in from in yeah. Timeware. And then... We do events as well, so all the events in, in Paxton, which are things like bookings, um, button presses on doors. Right. They so we can bring – they all come in across into Timeware as well, and we can, um, we can have – Let me just jump in and ask you a question. So if we, we, we nom, would we nominate um, which – which which what are doors or which, yeah which doors are going to be classed as attendance exactly yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. we bring them all in and you get a list of obviously every door on the system in Paxton and then we can kind of they come is come in as suspended so yeah. we, we don't do anything by default with those and then we just basically tick the ones we want to do things with and then yeah. mark whether we want them as attendance or or access so I'm right in thinking that we could pull all the all the bookings in and we could display those within Timeware. So even though Paxton's controlling all the access control, what, what we do is we could pull all the all the all the events in. All the, the events, events yep. that were, were doors we can attach them to to doors on our side. Yeah. Yeah. So people could view that the the access bookings uh, access control records within timeware yeah they? they can view it all in the but, access audit and things but the main purpose of this is to turn uh, a a door entry a, a door entry event or a so into an into an attendance, attendance event on our side. Right. yeah yep. okay mike what's the main benefit of uh, somebody implementing this system uh brand they don't have to, a brand new customer is that they've probably already got Paxton installed, so there's right. no extra expense for uh, ha- of a hard work but, cost. And bearing in mind we're talking to the partners now, if the customer then wants to go to biometric, what would we suggest? Uh, we could put in Supreme. Yeah, we could we could put in Suprema. Uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So Supreme have integrated. Have they integrated with Paxton as well separately to They've us? They've done some sort of integration. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say that. But, but I think what if if, if we went in that. and it was an integration with Paxton, and then sort of six months down the line, the customer wanted wanted biometric. I think that would be the opportunity to move them their attendance away from the Paxton system into. Yeah. Yeah. Just a bit. I want to clarify as well. So. What we're doing as a company is we're trying to make sure that the Paxton installer, if we are reading events from doors, that they put us in our own dedicated readers for attendance. Yeah. Um, another another plus point there as well is that if we're if if we're working alongside an existing Paxton um, installer, 
we're just we want to be seen as a software solution provider so we'll be invoicing that end user uh, for software only any any hardware will still be with the, with yeah, the, the original provider. Yeah, the installer. Installer. Yeah. yeah okay anything else on the integration matt uh just little basic things but it does the department that's linked to the personnel record as well so that's a that's a two-way thing as well so we can set up a department grouping that yes. can go across to the department section in paxton how, how long would does it take to set this up if, if we the, the 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 actual link i don't mean the time waste system but the integration not long it's really bad there's just about 10 lots of variables in a script which you just set true or false depending on which way you want it to go mike on our, on our trial system that we set yeah. sorry the the, the the not the trial the first system we installed and yeah. um, the integration part of it once we'd got over the fact they weren't on 6.02 that was yeah. a fairly simple yeah simple really simple integration yeah, really simple. yeah. Uh, and we when we actually implemented that we actually did it at first, when we brought the employees in, we brought the employees in from Paxton yep. into Timeware. But then what we did is we were actually then going forward. So after the system has been implemented, we're actually sending the new starters from Timeware into Paxton. So okay. we swapped the link around kind of thing. So it's like it was a bi-directional, really. Yeah, At first, we used good. it from Paxton into Timeware, and then Timeware into Paxton. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, Any so. other points? Uh, there's just, just yeah, just door groups as well, which come in as terminal groups in time where to link with the doors. That's okay. that's it. If any, if any of the partners want to have a chat with us about this, is it a support call? Put, uh, yeah, support, so. yeah, yeah. Matt's the expert in this, so <laughs> the expert. An hour with Matt, he's rolling his eyes. Uh, <laughs> okay, so. Um, Email through to support at timeway.co.uk if you want to uh, uh, ring in and uh, book a book a, a, a sort of a slot with Matt. Uh, numbers is uh, plus four four one seven zero six six five eight two two two. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks very much for listening. Thank you for joining us, Matt. Speak to you soon. Thank, Thank you. you.